Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Well, I finally got to Mr. Boynton's apartment house to take him to the football game. He was standing in front of the door holding a big box with a cellophane top, the kind you put an orchid corsage into. I said, Mr. Boynton, you shouldn't have bought me flowers. His answer was typical of the man. With a modest smile, he hung his head, blushed, and said, I didn't. <laughs> oh. Well, then what's in that box? MacDougal. He's a wee one, isn't he? Uh, MacDougall's a bullfrog, Miss Brooks. I took him home from the laboratory yesterday. I don't like the sound of his voice. It's kind of raspy. Maybe he's got a man in his throat. <laughs> Are you taking him with us to the football game? Oh, I'm afraid I'll have to. You see, his neck's pretty sore, and I put a compress on it. Wouldn't want him to scratch it off. He, oh, he should have had his tonsils out long ago. Maybe his folks couldn't afford it. <laughs> well, get in, Mr. Boynton, and put McDougal in the back. Oh, I had rather not, Miss Brooks. Let's keep him up here in front between us. <sighs> Goody. I've always wanted to go to a football game with a bullfrog. <laughs> well, are you all set, Mr. Boynton? All set, Miss Brooks. Then we're off to Clay City. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for football, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Do you like football, Mr. Boynton? Well, frankly, Miss Brooks, I, uh, I haven't seen many games. Oh, that's a shame. We teachers should set an example in school spirit for the student body. That's why I'm going today. That's one reason, anyway. I beg your pardon? I said I think we should show more interest in school events. Oh, I agree, Miss Brooks. Who's pitching for us today? <laughs> well, we tried to get Satchel Page, but he tied up. <laughs> Of course, we have some good backfield men pitching passes. That's what you meant, isn't it? Oh, I guess so. I'm afraid you'll have to explain quite a bit of the rules, Miss Brooks. Oh, you'll get on to it, Mr. Boynton. Meanwhile, we've got 55 miles to travel together. Just you and I. <laughs> I was hoping you'd feel that way about it. That was MacDougall. Now, now, quiet, Mac. I want you to rest your throat. Yes, do that, Mac. Now, where was I? Uh, you were saying we've got 55 miles to drive together. That's right. Just the three of us. A man, a girl, a bullfrog. Uh -huh. oh, well, we'll have fun anyway. <laughs> I know a wonderful little restaurant en route where we can stop for lunch. It's called the Blue Goose Cafe. Oh, fine. Uh, look, Miss Brooks, uh, isn't that one of our students pushing that car across the street? Oh, yes, that's Walter Denton. Maybe we can give him a hand. Hello, Walter. Oh, hello, Miss Brooks. How do, Mr. Boynton? Oh, hello, Walter. Something wrong with your car? Oh, nothing unusual. It just won't go. <laughs> I think my clutch lining is gone. Oh, well, take a little of mine, Walter. I've got a new bag. <laughs> you have all times to fizzle out on me. I had my heart set on going to the Clay City football game today. Well, why don't you come along with us? What do you say, Miss Brooks? With us? Well... I'm sure Walter would rather get there under his own power. Maybe we ought to try and get his car started. Hmm? Oh, it's no use, Miss Brooks. It won't go. I know this car like the back of my hand. In the back of my hand to you. <laughs> well, it isn't that you're not welcome to come with us, Walter. I know. Why don't we tow you in your car? Tow me. Well, I don't understand the point of that, Miss Brooks. You wouldn't. <laughs> I haven't got any tow rope anyway, Miss Brooks Well, maybe we could push you in your car You know, bumper to bumper and shove Then we got, when we got to a nice downgrade Whee! <laughs> bye, bye, Walter <laughs> oh, You're kidding me, Miss Brooks <laughs> <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I'll sit in the back here You and Mr. Boynton won't even know we're in the car All right, Walter, hop in I wouldn't want you to miss the game Well, here goes, off to Clay Did you say we're in the car? Sure, I've got a date with Harriet Conklin She's a real football bug Bug? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get excited, Mac It's just an expression <laughs> She'll be waiting in front of her house, Miss Brooks. It's just a mile or two out of your way. Naturally. But we'd better hurry if we want to have some lunch before the game. Hang on. 
Uh, turn right at this corner, Miss Brooks. You'd better slow down for it. Oh, look out for that milk wagon. Boy, that was close. <laughs> oh, are you still in the car, Walter? <laughs> I mean, I hope I didn't unnerve you. Oh, that's all right, Miss Brooks. I'm used to driving with woman drivers. My mother's one, you know. <laughs> one what, Walter? It's only natural for drivers to make mistakes, but my mom has made some whoppers. That I can see. <laughs> Look, isn't that Harriet standing under that tree? Oh, yeah, that's her. Uh, pull over to the curb, Miss Brooks. Yes, sir. Shall I hold the meter? <laughs> Hi, Harriet. My car's all tattered and torn, so Miss Brooks is taking us to the game. Well, bless your little pointed head. Hello, Miss Brooks. Hello, Harriet. How are you, Harriet? Mr. Boynton, how nice to have you along. Get that leer out of your voice, Harriet. Mr. Boynton's been spoken for. <laughs> in fact, he's been spoken and croaked for. <laughs> What was that sound? Oh, this is MacDougall, Harriet, one of my favorite frogs. You can introduce them formally when we're rolling again. Hop in. <laughs> Not you, Mac. <laughs> we'll get in back. After you, my lady. Thank you, my man. All set? Well, we're off for Clay City. Oh, don't start yet, Miss Brooks. Daddy's coming down off the porch. Hi, Daddy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr. Conklin. Hi, Mr. Conklin. Uh, that is, <laughs> how do you do, sir? How's Madison's favorite principal today? Hmm? <laughs> At ease. <laughs> I was just reading about the game with Clay City High. Should be quite a contest. Oh, yes, sir. That's where we're going today. At least we're starting today. Denton, must you sit so close to my daughter? I'm not sitting close to her, Mr. Conklin. She's sitting close to me. I'm over as far as I can get. I've got to pin him down, Father. Walter's the elusive type. Of course, he's not a real happy heartache, but he's good for a minor throb or two. Ah, oh, cut it out, Harriet. <laughs> oh, stop those nonsensical noises. Now, there's quite a bit of work I could do this afternoon, filing reports to the Board of Education and so forth. You have a nice day for it, Mr. Conklin. Well, we'd be getting along now. But I got to thinking. Conklin, I said to myself... Or rather, Mr. Conklin, I said. <laughs> you haven't seen a football game in a month of Sundays. Let's take in this Clay City game. Then you mean you're going along with us? That's just super, Daddy, isn't it, Walter? Yeah, super. <laughs> well, it'll be a pleasure to have you along, Mr. Conklin. Oh, thank you, Boynton. But what about you, Miss Brooks? It's your car. How do you feel about my coming along? Just ginger peachy, Mr. Conklin. <laughs> well, let's get started if we're going. It's getting kind of late, and we want oh, to... Oh, I won't be any time at all. I'll go back to the house and ask Mrs. Conklin to speed things up. Mrs. Conklin? Yes, yes. She's been out in the yard all morning planting, and she's quite dirty. I'll tell her to hurry with a bath and not fuss much with dressing. I'll tell her to slip on anything, Mr. Conklin. A loose rug will do. <laughs> Here we are. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hello, Miss Brooks, Mr. Boynton. Hello, Miss, Mrs. Conklin. Uh, how are you, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Walter's here, too. Hello, Walter. Hi, Mrs. Conklin. Uh, where do you want to sit? Well, I think that you two should be separated. So, Martha, if you'll just sit between Walter and Harriet, I'll sit up front between Miss Brooks and Mr. Boynton. <laughs> Fine. Now, if we can only get somebody to sit between McDougal. Uh, I'd better hold him on my lap. There we go, Mac. Pity he doesn't drive. We could change places. <laughs> uh, we're all set, Miss Brooks. Uh, do you know the road? Well, not offhand, Mr. Conklin, but I've got the maps in my glove compartment. Well, I'd better get them out then, Miss Brooks. Should be a very simple matter, getting to Clay City. Uh, let's see here. Route 68 into 44, then west. No, uh, east, I guess it is, on 106. Well, what are you waiting for, Miss Brooks? For the directions, Mr. Conklin. Oh, I'll give you those as we go along. Just start her up. Well, we're on our way, Harry. Oh, isn't it fun, Walter? Please, children, you're squeezing me. It should happen to both of us. <laughs> Miss Brooks, do you mind turning your radio on? I understand there's going to be a new clue on Sing It Again. All right, Harriet. 
Gee, the prizes are up to $26,000. And here, folks, is your new Sing It Again clue. The Phantom Voice is no Ziegfeld girl, but a Ziegfeld guy gave her a whirl. Thank you. The 26000 will come in handy. Who do you think the Phantom Voice is, Miss Brooks? Well, if I knew the answer to that, Harriet, I'd be able to walk right up to your father and say... Yes, Miss Brooks? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Conklin. <laughs> We've been going quite a while on Route 68. Shouldn't we have switched over to 44 by now? Are you questioning my directions, Miss Brooks? Well, no, Mr. Conklin, but... I was a major in the last war, you know. (laughs) And as such, spent considerable time in command of a transport group at Camp Bobrick, Ohio. I'm sure we're on the right road. And the case on go rolling along. Oh, you have quite a voice, Mr. Conklin. Oh, thank you, Boynton. I did a bit of singing round the barracks now and then. Yum tum 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 tum. Oh, that's very cute, Mr. Conklin. Oh, that was Mac, wasn't it? He must be hungry, Mr. Boynton. I know I am. Shall we stop for some lunch at the Blue Goose? Well, where's the Blue Goose, Miss Brooks? Well, I haven't been there since I was a girl, but... Gosh, Miss Brooks, do you think it's still standing? <laughs> now, just a minute, Walter. How old do you think I am, anyway? Oh, I'd say you're about Of course to... it's still standing. <laughs> There's only one place to go if you want a delicious luncheon. That's the Pink Flamingo. Oh, where's that, Osgood? You never mentioned it in front of me before. Well, the last time I went there, I was with a bunch of the boys. Are you sure you can find this blue goose, Miss Brooks? <laughs> yes, I think so, Mr. Conklin. Let's see, where are we now? Well, there's a signboard over there, Route 118. Funny, that isn't on this map at all. Uh, you'd better bear left at this fork, Miss Brooks. Very well, Mr. Conklin, but I don't think we're on the right road. This hill ahead of us is pretty steep. I hope the motor doesn't heat up too much. This radiator's just been patched temporarily. Well, up we go. Over hill, over down, and the and the caissons go. What was that? The caissons stopped rolling. <laughs> at least this one did. Carl, get out and look at the motor. Uh, keep your seat, Mr. Boynton. As head of a transport battalion, I had considerable to do with motors during my tour of duty. Yeah, uh, now, let's see. Let's see. Uh-huh. Nothing wrong with the tappets. Radiator's still in one piece. Hand me a hammer, somebody. There are some tools under this seat, I think. Oh, here, let's get out. Here we are. Here's a hammer, Mr. Conklin. Oh, thank you. Now we'll just tap this water pipe here. Oh, be careful, Mr. Conklin. Please, Miss Brooks. I know motors backwards. One more good tap should do it. That did it, all right. Well, let's get out and push, folks. We're off to the nearest garage. Well, there you are, folks. There you are. Good as new. Nothing would have happened in the first place if some knucklehead hadn't hit the pipes with a hammer. <laughs> what? Why, how did? Why, who do you think? Why, I'll have you know. Who's this huffing and puffing? Oh, please. Uh, this is Mr. Knucklehead. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Conklin. Yeah. He's my principal. Uh, oh, now, calm down, well, Mr. Conklin. Remember, yeah. everything's all right, right. now. We're uh, off to Clay uh, City. <laughs> Where do you figure we are now, Miss Brooks? Well, I think... According to my calculations, we've been traveling due east on Route 94 for one hour and ten minutes at an approximate mean speed of 40 miles per hour. Any tailwind, Mr. Conklin? (laughs) Oh, look, we're we're coming into a town. Of course we're coming to a town, just as I figured. This is it. Uh, Miss Brooks, ask that pedestrian where the stadium is. What pedestrian? Hey, look where you're driving! Oh, that pedestrian. (laughs) Uh, pardon me. Could you tell us where the Clay City Stadium is? Well, I can't be positive, but my guess would be Clay City. (laughs) Isn't this Clay City? No, no, this is Boonville. If you'd be kind enough to give me a lift home, though, I could show you where Clay City is. I live just a few miles from there in Flagstaff. 
Well, there really isn't much room. We've got three in front and three in back now. Well, it's not much of a ride from here. Perhaps I could sit on this gentleman's lap. What? Sit on my lap? Oh, better take him, dear. We've only got a short time if we want to see the kick off. Oh, very well. Come on. I hope I'm not too heavy. <laughs> Sorry, I'll change my position. <laughs> Start the car, Miss Brooks. All right, Mr. Conklin. And this time we're really off to Clay City. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the lift. You're welcome. Now, how do we get to Clay City from here? Oh, that's 29 miles back down the road. We passed through it on the way. What? Why, you? It's so long. You. 29 miles back. Why, that? We could have been... He said that it was only... Daddy, remember your blood pressure. His ears get awful red, don't they? (laughs) Now, see here, everybody. We've got to organize this expedition. There's been no unity of command. That's the trouble. Everybody's talking at once. (laughs) Shut that toad up, Boynton. He's not a toad, Mr. Cotton. MacDougall's a frog. A giant bullfrog with tonsils. Quiet, quiet, Mr. Now turn this car around and go that way, and don't stop going that way until I tell you to. Off to Clay City. Well, this is Clay City, all right. There's the Clay City National Bank, Clay City Lumberyard. Now, for heaven's sake, Miss Brooks, before you get lost again, ask somebody where the stadium is. All right, Mr. Conklin. Oh, there's a bus parked over there. I'll ask the driver. Excuse me, but could you tell me where the Clay City Stadium is? Sure. It's four blocks left and three right. Oh, thanks a lot. That's the first definite answer I've had all day. Well, I ought to know where the stadium is. I got the Clay City team in this bus. We just beat Madison High 89 to nothing. (laughs) 89 to nothing? May I ask you one more question? Sure. What is it? Did they put up a good fight? 